Across the country, book bans continue to make headlines, and in Missouri, the conversation is now centered around public libraries. A new rule in Missouri passed by the Secretary of State is having librarians make difficult decisions. I don't want someone else telling me how to parent my kids. I definitely am not going to tell parents how to parent their kids or what their kids can read. That new rule requires library leaders to determine what books, materials, and displays are suitable for children. It also bans libraries from buying books that are obscene, and libraries cannot display age-inappropriate books in the children or teens section. Now, it's the wording of that rule and determining what is age-appropriate that leads this to being a contentious issue. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon sought out the perspectives of those affected by this story so you can have a more complete picture. The first page is growing up in a black girl's body. I love being a black girl and sometimes being a black girl in America is hard. A public oh, library, so it gives readers of all ages things. access to books. Our stories won't be exactly the same, but by the time you get to the last word on the last page. But a new administrative rule in Missouri so is limiting that access to alone. young readers we on certain books. Things. And if libraries so fail to comply, they risk losing state funds. Mm melt on people's tongue. It's a rule impacting families like the Johnson family who routinely come to the Kansas City Public Library for a good read. After school, she was happy to find her grandma waiting. They say they're neutral to the new rule and decide as a family what books they choose from the shelf. There is um, a reason why I come to the library with my children because I know that I would like to educate my children on certain things before they pick up a book and read it randomly and have no knowledge of what these things are. Some libraries say the rule is open for interpretation, so let's take a closer look at it and hear from different voices. Talking to the author behind this new rule, the library is now following this new rule and the readers and writers impacted. We don't need to be putting age inappropriate material in front of kids. Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft says the majority of libraries have complied none have lost funding and no books have been removed. Ashcroft claims the rule would not ban books from the library, but would move certain books from certain sections. This rule says if this is a book that yeah, it's not appropriate for you if you're not an adult, you can't have it in the children's section. More than 20,000 public comments were submitted during the rules proposal period for and against the rule. Secretary Ashcroft says his goal is to eventually make this rule state law. I believe that as a child, you neither have all the responsibilities nor do you have all the rights that you have as an adult. And frankly, I think we ought to let kids be kids a little bit longer. Local libraries are reacting to the rule differently. The Kansas City Public Library District created a new policy. It allows parents to deactivate their child's library account and has created forms for parents to challenge age appropriateness of materials, although books are rarely removed altogether. Yes, there may be something here that you don't want to read, you may not want your child to read, but somebody else wants to read that. KCPL says a team of professional and experienced librarians are tasked with purchasing materials for their collection and decide where to best place them. The Cass County Public Library took a different approach. Their reading of the rule called for the suspension of library accounts of those under the age of 18, requiring parents to physically come into their libraries and sign off on their child's account. So far, 86% of those suspended accounts have been reinstalled. There were some parents that were um, not happy with it. Um, there were some parents who directed their anger at the library. We explained to the parents that like this is, we just, we're trying to comply to this rule. Right now, books that are being challenged in Cass County delve into sex education and LGBTQ storylines. The library says depending on their decision, some contested books are generally placed in a different section. How do you guys go about with distincting what is age appropriate? It revolves around um, what the audience is based on their physical, mental, and developmental needs, developmental appropriateness. Um, because age appropriateness can be interpreted a lot of different ways. This is Russia, Japan, Brazil, Italy. Kansas City-based children's book author uh, Adib England. Karam has a series named Darius the Great, and it's been challenged across the country. No one had ever called me beautiful before. You're beautiful too. 
The storyline follows an Iranian teen who navigates his queer identity and deals with the pressures of society and mental health. The book won several awards and Universal Studios even looked into purchasing rights. Karam's second book, Darius the Great Deserves Better, was featured in PEN America's most banned picture books of the 2021-2022 school year. People act as if authors are out here writing pornography for five-year-olds, and we're not. I don't know a single author who doesn't give a great deal of attention and care to how they're approaching any given topic so that it's digestible and understandable to their target audience. Rom says the rule goes against literacy freedom and says his audience, teenagers, need his books to understand the world around them. Historically, books have been one of the best ways for children to explore that in a, a safe and uh, kind of contextually guided way. And despite the pushback, he yeah. will continue to write similar stories based on his upbringing. Young people and old people I mean, I like to need to be able to read about people that are different from them and people that are similar to them uh, without being told that their very existence or that the existence of the people that they care about and love uh, is inappropriate or obscene. Meanwhile, families like the Johnsons Bright as a rainbow. Are flipping the page on this new rule and say they will continue to use the library like they always have. My ponytails were determined to defy gravity. And believe all stories are worth reading. I wasn't sure the difference was important. Daniela Leone, KSHB 41 News.